G'day fishers, uh, we're down in between Port Hughes and Moonta Bay Jetty on the York Peninsula today and we're on the low tide and today we're targeting whiting without bait. We're going to be using two methods, we're going to be trying some top water uh, walk the dog style lures and poppers. Uh, we're also going to be using the gulp worms uh, and also Starlo tackle worm burners on a fixed line to attract these fish and catch them. We've got some whiting nut burley, we've also got some salmon oil to put in the water to hopefully attract some of this fish. Let's see if we can catch whiting without any bait. So just burling up with some of these whiting nuts. Sean's just working a soft plastic. Oh that looked like you had one. <laughs> Bit of weed. We'll save some of that burley. A bit later, I might just put some up in the shallows here as well. For $7.95 for a two kilo bag of barley, it's pretty good. You know, if we're gonna catch some whiting, it doesn't take long to recoup that money. So the rig on uh, one of the rods is uh, a pretty standard whiting rig. Uh, snaps will down to a size four Gamakatsu long sank hook with the Stalo tackle worm burner. A small sinker uh, down to a normal barrel sw swivel and then that's hooked on with another size 4 Gamakatsu Langshank hook with that 3D printed, hopefully you can see that 3D printed worm burner um, extension. I'll show you what it looks like. I've grabbed out a couple of these worm burners. Uh, sorry, a couple of these gulp soft plastics. Just like any soft plastic, we just want to thread it on, feel it as it's going down the middle of that plastic don't let it pop out until you're pretty much all the way on. Like that. You can see there, it's sitting really flat with the worm burner and just sticking out and same color as the worm. We'll do that on the second hook and then we'll get it out. Uh, so we're just looking at a little bit deeper. There's some sandy holes out here. Oh, straight away, it felt like a bit of a bite. While it was a good idea at the time, unfortunately that was a couple of bites and it pulled me into the weeds, which I then subsequently was snagged on and I ended up losing my whole rig and had to start again. Here, guys. A bit frustrating. Come on. So we haven't had much luck yet, but um, Sean and I were just speaking and, and we kind of agree that we're probably not going to get a lot of action until this sandbar here fills up and goes over into this next one where the water is actually pretty warm. Um, and should be a lot more attractive for the whiting to come feed in on. Um, there's also, as you can see, there's also some really good weed through here as well. So who knows, it might also be a good spot for a flat eel or two. Just for shits and giggles, I'm actually gonna try and cast in here. Wind's right at my back. Oh, I've got to follow. Yep, there's a little whiting just there. Just followed it in. Just had a follow. Hmm. Oh, that was really interesting to get that one fellow and then not a fellow up. Tell me in the comments what I'm doing wrong with my action here, guys. <laughs> rod tip up, rod tip down. Flicking it. Just learning. So this is the Bass Day Sugar Splash. splash. So it's just got the tiny little cut face and I've taken the um, taken the trebles off in the middle just to avoid weed and just got the uh, assist hooks on the back if I had one follow <laughs> it wasn't very big huh it yeah, it wasn't very big. I think it was only, I don't know, it was probably just on legal. Oh, 
Yeah, is it action fast or is it slow? Is it too fast? Is it too slow? Might have to change colours of the lure. So it's starting to join up here. So I'm actually going to move over to that side just to get my gear out of the way. Sean's doing his final movements across that sand flats. And I've noticed these holes here. Now, my uh, thought would be that they could be brim holes with them, you know, nosing around in the uh, sand. Put in the comments if I'm right or what else those holes could be. So we've just moved to this side. The wind's coming right to left on screen. We've got the gulp. Uh, soft plastics uh, lobbed in around here and I've got that in the rod holder just with a loose drag and then we'll be casting the we've changed over to a smaller um, Daiwa in feet slippery dog I don't know if you can, whoops where we are there we go it's got a bit of weight on it we'll get rid of that and we'll see if we can coax some of these yellow fin whiting or silver whiting potentially that are around the place here. So I'm just sort of fanning my cast sort of left to right here to see if we can find a fish or two. Oh that might have been a hit. And we do have some more of these uh, whiting nuts that we might get out here going to go from right to left with the current that's filling in a little tide it smells like the stuff you feed to the zoo animals about time you caught one are oh, you just doing a bit of a troll <laughs> we've just had the one follow thus far would be uh, good to catch fish on either to be honest, on either the bait or the, the top water here. It's going to go in the more shallower stuff down here as well. Not really much action on the infeed, a couple of uh, couple of follows but again I think they're just small silver whiting so not not the target species. So I'm going to change over and do something a little bit different We've got the SD Grubs opening night. Fairly clear water, so they should stand out all right. And I'm gonna put it on a Ned rig. So that'll mean when I show you the Ned rig. So the Ned rig is the, um, that one there. It's got the nice bright UV orange, size one hook, one fifth jig head. Probably the jig head's a bit heavy, but um, It'll sit nicely on that. I'll show you when it's all rigged up. So that's it there, all rigged up. So that um, UV glow orange weight will sit on the ground, on the sand. And that uh, tail will flutter in the water, basically providing most of, if not all the action. So uh, we'll see if there's whiting willing to take that. Uh, who knows, we might even actually get a flatty or something else as we bring that in. We don't have to move this too much. It, as I said, the, it'll it'll uh, flicker its tail as it's standing upright. But we do certainly want to cover a little bit of ground, so a couple of little flicks. And again, if there's a flatty around sitting on this downslope, they might see it as well and want to get involved. Still got the gulp worm and starlow tackle worm burners on that one. Haven't had any action whatsoever. I think it should be a combo that, that is going to work if the gulps are going to get any food, uh, get any action. It's a wonderful spot to be fishing though. The sun just uh, is ducking in and out behind the clouds. The water is still pretty warm. So again, good for the whiting. Oh, that might have been a hit. So I'm just going to put the ST grub back. Haven't had any hits whatsoever we've moved quite around a bit so that one's back in the bag but i'm going to try another one on the ned rig which is the new 
well new for me I don't know how new they are TRD Craw Z this isn't a molting craw so again it'll sit up like a little yabby shrimp in the water again sitting up like that waving its little nippers around so again it's not another it's another pretty good uh, potentially whiting soft plastic I always tend to put these guys on way better when I'm not doing it on camera you may or may not be able to see I don't really see him just standing straight up there standing out quite well can I uh, just cast this down this weed line not only for the whiting potentially but the brim not sure if we get any down here saw those holes earlier a couple of little flicks but really it's going to be doing its it's going to be doing its own thing it's not going to need a lot of action imparted onto it I don't think give it a couple of casts along here and then we'll cast off this sandbank uh, into the sort of gutter it's one of those days that if you get a hook up you're going to be absolutely completely surprised and probably miss it all together all right here guys so just put on this little um, atomic um, shallow diver um, we haven't had any luck on anything else yet so we'll give this a go and see uh, if we can catch something don't want to say I haven't caught anything today I just scooped up this uh, female blue swimmer crab way too small but I was just having a bit of fun she doesn't want to let go that's the problem you can let go now there you go there's another one scooting out through here they move pretty quick what's the plan Stan if you got this far in the video you're a bloody legend that was a tough fishing rather than catching session if you got some value out of it the easiest thing you can do to support the channel it's free is to like and subscribe in the meantime watch this video because that's what youtube recommends is best for you